Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Kickstarter Update. My name, of course, is Robert Potato, and this is just a little thing I'm trying out. And, uh, and yeah, we're basically going to be talking about some of the more awesome projects on Kickstarter at the moment. And this is currently something that is getting an awful lot of attention and is looking very, very impressive. Right, so this is Battletech. It's made by the same people that uh, that make Shadowrun, and it's set in the Battletech universe where there is these massive, massive metal robots that, that decide the way that war works. And the whole concept is really very, very impressive. It looks very, very good. I will play the Battletech video for you at the end of this quick little update. It's definitely worth a watch. You can check it out on uh, in the link in the description. I'll stick the link in the description. You go and check it out, back it if you're interested. And, uh, and yeah, certainly very, very interesting and one to watch. All right, if we scroll down, you can sort of see what the hell that uh, that a a mech looks like, and my oh my, does that look cool? Looks very very good. So you know, you know, BattleTech is uh, is a series that has has a rich history. It's got a board game. It's had multiple video games before. It's got like an MMO sort of thing that's going on at the moment. And um, so yeah, definitely 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 a very very rich history and. Something that is uh, probably very, very prestigious in the uh, in the gaming world. So, yeah, as as it says here, it's spanned two decades, so it's definitely been around for a while. So, you know, this is just the description of what the hell is actually going on, and these are the people that are doing it. You know, it's it's all fine, it's all good. Uh, but what I specifically want to talk to you about is the stages of development. All right. So, first stage one is being funded by the developers, Hairbrain Schemes. Okay, uh, and and basically, stage one is a turn-based skirmish game, uh, and you'll be put up against AI opponents and whatnot, right? That's fine. It's not actually that impressive. Like, that's that's a pretty basic level of funding. Now, they definitely, definitely, definitely have got their, their sights set on stage number four. Now, this is what I think uh, the main appeal for people would hypothetically be if this is funded. So, this is the, the PvP stage, so you're going to get to, you're going to get to verse opposing opposing mech mechs in this battlefield i think I'm, I'm so excited i'm like mincing my words it sounds absolutely amazing and so it's it's worth noting out this entire thing is turn-based so i think it would be super super awesome if you have a massive robot that is just pelting the other dude with missiles it's it's definitely 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 very cool uh, but you know that's stage number four we shouldn't ignore stage two and stage three basically uh, these both uh both relate to the campaign. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a single-player campaign if we get to a million bucks. And I'm saying we. I'm not connected with this at all. I'm not even involved in this project. I'm just, I'm just super, super stoked about it. Uh, so that's why I'm telling you guys about it. And uh, and and stage three, which is 1.8 million, which is quite a substantial amount of money, uh, is side missions for the quest that allows you to take uh, like contract missions. Um, uh, in the campaign and allows you to explore the world a little bit more. What I think is really, really cool is the fact that these whole mech robots and whatnot, uh, they're handed down from generation to generation, and so it's it's the nobility, it's like the kings and the queens and the lords and the dukes of, of this entire universe that control these fantastic, major, massive robots. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty freaking awesome. And some of the concept art is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I think it really helps that you've got people and then you see how bloody massive these things are. They are absolutely huge. And uh, and I think that whole sense of scale is is really, really very, very awesome. I mean, yeah, just look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. It's gorgeous. So yeah, this is uh, this is what I was saying. Mechs are rare and often passed down from generation to generation within a noble family. So yeah, you've got the you've got the elite of the society there that are controlling these humongous war machines, and uh, and that is definitely definitely very very exciting. And the variety of of mech warriors seems to be pretty freaking awesome. I mean, look, this guy looks like he's got missile pods on his on his shoulders with the human in there just for scale. Oh man, I'm super, super stoked on this. And, you know, this is 
This is a uh, a little breakdown of the stages, and you can see what is what is going what what is blah, 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 what it is that we've already unlocked. And I say we, what it is they have already unlocked, and uh, and you know what's to unlock in the future. Definitely, uh, I think that by putting putting the stage four as the as the largest goal, the PVP at stage four, I think they are going to make an absolute ton based on the fact that people want to fight big robots in an arena against their friends. Like that is fairly fairly clear, yeah. And then this just gives you a, a further little breakdown on what the hell is going on, and you know the concept art. Just oh my goodness, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I know, I know, you can say, oh yeah. Fine, yeah, great concept art. It always looks fantastic. Uh, that is no, that is no way to to evaluate a game or uh, try and try and you know look at a look at a book by its cover, judge a book by its cover. That's what I meant to say. That's what I was looking for. I found the words eventually. Um, you know, you can't evaluate a game on based on its concept art. But oh my goodness, look at it! It just looks absolutely phenomenal. And you know, certainly. Uh, this sort of system as well, the system that you've got, uh, you know, like multiple houses of nobility. I mean, look, like House Lyo and House Steiner and Davion and Marek and however you say that, Kurita, Kurita, I don't know. It sounds freaking awesome. And the fact that you've got all of these different factions and presumably they're going to have different mechs and they're going to, you know, it's just, oh, it's just super, super, super exciting. The campaign is going to be very, very interesting. I'm really, really looking forward to the campaign, but more so more so hopefully if the 250 250 no 2.5 million dollar sort of goal can be achieved then i would i would totally be up from for some mech and mech pvp that sounds pretty freaking awesome this is an example of the uh, the contracts that would be introduced at stage three or sorry at stage two uh, but developed in no, this is stage three. Yeah, what am I talking about? Contracts are coming in stage three. It's the normal base campaign that's coming in stage two, and then the contracts, which are being shown here, uh, would be coming along in stage three. So holy cow, it is awesome. And then further on, we can uh, we can just have a little look at the rewards if you're interested. Uh, I think the first one that you get the base game at is the $25. Yep, yeah, the $25 tier is the first tier that you actually start on getting getting rewards so you get a digital copy of the game and you get some wallpapers which look pretty freaking awesome pretty freaking awesome if i do say so myself if the concept art is anything to go by then i am i'm down for just the wallpapers i mean screw the game the wallpaper is is freaking awesome that's right uh, and obviously as you go further and further along you get beta access and stuff and that would be pretty cool and uh, and yeah you get loads of stuff it looks pretty freaking awesome, and I'm certainly really, really, really interested in how this game does. So I just wanted to make everybody aware of this, and it's looking pretty good. Watch some of the briefings, watch some of the extra stuff. I mean, there's lots of uh, lots of extra information on this page, but this, basically, ladies and gentlemen, is just a quick little update. I don't know, might not like it. If you do like this sort of format, then uh, then let me know in the comments because I I'm really really stoked about this game and I couldn't not make a video about it because it is it it looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna play the video right now, but I'm gonna say my goodbyes right now as well. My name of course has been Robert Potato. Thank you very very much for watching. Hopefully you'll tune in next time for maybe another Kickstarter update. If you if you like this sort of thing, if you do, then tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments and I can do more. Uh, but for now, my name is Robert Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Jordan Weissman and this is Harebrain Schemes. Hi, Kickstarter! Since we brought back Shadowrun with Shadowrun Returns, the question we constantly get is, when are you bringing back Battletech? And the answer is, today. I'm proud to announce that Harebrained Schemes is going to make a turn-based, tactical mech combat game that is steeped in the deadly feudal politics of the classic Battletech setting. Now, I've been making mech games a long time. Over 30 years ago, I created the first version of Battletech as a miniatures board game and an accompanying role-playing game called Mech Warrior. Over the years, we've explored the Battletech universe through a variety of different media, including hundreds of different novels, an animated television show, and even the Battletech centers, where players could get into fully operational cockpits and pilot mechs in a 3D multiplayer arena. Of course, Battletech is best known for its many video games, including the first, Crescent Hawk's Inception in 1988, 
The Breakout hit Mech Warrior 2 in 1995, Mech Commander, the first tactical game in 1998, and of course, the current Mech Warrior Online. Not only have I been making mech games for a long time, so has Mitch. The first one we worked on together was Mech Commander, <laughs> and then he went on to do the whole series. Uh, the thing I've always loved about Battletech is the universe, especially the original setting of classic Battletech. The year is 3025, and for over 200 years, the great houses who dominate the planets of the Inner Sphere have battled each other to claim the title of First Lord and rule from the throne of a reconstituted Star League. The tool of conquest is mankind's most powerful and versatile fighting vehicle, the Battle Mech, adaptable to every planetary environment and with enough firepower to level a small city. With technology in decline after two centuries of war, mechs are precious, rare, and piloted by the nobility. Handed down from generation to generation, they represent a family's heritage, its fealty, and its future. Now, as the third war of succession grinds down, the exhausted noble houses look to mercenaries to continue the fight. And that's where you come in, as the commander of your own mercenary outfit. I'd like to introduce Mike McCain, creative director of the Shadowrun series. He'll be leading the Battletech game with me. I grew up playing Battletech games. Uh, in fact, MechWarrior 2 is one of the first PC games I ever played. So I'm really excited to be working with Jordan and the team here to create a modern, turn-based, tactical mech combat game for PC. First off, I like how it's gonna be modern now because the young guy's involved. Anyway, as Mitch said, yeah. I... On the battlefield, you'll command the lance of four mechs in turn-based combat, unleashing their awesome firepower and utilizing their mech warrior's unique abilities. To realize all of this action on screen, we'll be taking advantage of Unity 5 to make the 3D battlefield experience as immersive as possible. Your previous support has allowed us to deliver four games that we're really proud of. And the success of those games gives us the resources to build a great single-player skirmish game in which you can pit your mechs against enemy AI mechs. But with your support, that base game can become so much more. As you can see below, our vision for the game expands in four stages. Stage one is already paid for. It's the skirmish game we're funding ourselves. If our Kickstarter hits funding stage two, we can create a single-player story campaign for the game. In this campaign, you'll command your own mercenary outfit, struggling to survive from mission to mission amidst the feudal political turmoil of the Inner Sphere. The campaign will feature an original new story set in the deadly 3025 era of the Battletech universe. You'll be given missions with a variety of objectives, from sabotaging an enemy installation while posing as a lance from a rival house, to kidnapping a minor noble in order to help uh, aid a client's negotiating position. Between those missions, you'll manage the finances and logistics of your mercenary outfit, from the modifications and loadouts of your mechs to the salaries and skill growth of your mech warriors. If we hit funding stage three, we can expand that mercenary campaign to make it much broader and open-ended, to put you in full control of your destiny as a mercenary. So alongside the core story campaign, you'll be able to take contracts from the various noble houses of the Inner Sphere. Over time, the missions you accept and the objectives you complete will determine your reputation as a mercenary and what contracts will be available to you in the future. To make the game open-ended, we'll add a variety of side contracts and procedural mission generation so that you can grow and expand your mercenary outfit both during and after the campaign. Funding Stage 4 adds PvP multiplayer set in the famous arenas of Solaris 7. You'll be able to take your lance to the arena to fight head-to-head -head with your friends or to compete in ranked leaderboard play. We've planned Battletech to expand in these stages so we can be confident we'll make a great game regardless of the funding level we hit. But of course, the more co-funding we can raise here on Kickstarter, the bigger the game we can make. So let's work together to bring classic turn-based Battletech back to the PC. Once again, Kickstarter, we thank you for your faith in us, and we look forward to making another great game with you. Nice, All right, you suck. Let's try again. <laughs>